They say that the best way to see if you have uh, understood something is to make a tutorial on it and teach others and if they understand it then you probably understand it too. Yeah, okay. <laughs> we select the cube, hit X, delete. We hit Shift and uh, A and go to Add Mesh Plane. And then we hit the S key and drag it out. And then we go down to uh, the end of the window and when the cross here is there, you click and drag. And uh, then you make this uh, 3D view into UV image editor. And then you hit the tab bar to go into edit mode. You can also go here, edit mode. And then you have selected, and to select, if you, it's not selected, you can hit A. To turn off, select, unselect, select. And then you go to uh, UV mapping, and then you select unwrap. And then you select unwrap. And then you make a new uh, image according to the UV map and then you hit new and it's important that it's uh, black and it, the size I've chosen is 1024 by 1024 and then I call it stencil enter and then I go to image again and I say save as And uh, then I go to this window and hit the T, so I can make this window a little smaller. And then I hit T again. And then I go up out of edit mode by hitting the tab bar. And uh, then I hit the N key. And then I scroll down to display. And then I go to shading and uh, set it to GLSL and to see the difference I go down to the shade viewport shading and select texture you can select the light and you can see it have an impact but it's a little bit uh, uh, low on light so we select the light uh, bar and now it's a point light, we make it into a sunlight. And then we select the plane again. And then we make uh, a material. And then we go to specular and set the specular to zero. And then we go to the texture. And here you can, in each of these tabs, you can put a texture map. So I go to new and type. It's it's it, it it's always set to close, but you set it to image or movie. And then you go to open, and then you select the grass. And here you can see the grass is uh, up, but it's uh, very blurry. So we set the it size, it's, o it's always set to 1, but we can set it to 4. The X and Y uh, size. And you move uh, inside uh, the viewport and then it, it updates. And then we will take in the stencil map. You should say new, you go to uh, type. And select image movie and then you do not open it and you do not set new you sit you take this uh, picture on the side and you select the stencil that you have made and then it goes totally black but that's because the influence is the diffuse color you uncheck the diffuse color and then you go down and set it to stencil and the RGB intensity uh, to grayscale. And then you go up, and then you go to 
the, the third uh, bar uh, below the, the stencil and say tag new and select image or movie and then open and then the dirt tile and we can also set this to 4 by 4 in uh, size the x and y and then we go to the texture map and since we have, have mapped it at, uh, at UV coordinates we go to mapping and go to coordinates and select UV then we are ready to paint black on, or white to reveal the dirt texture so you uh, go to object mode and then you go to texture paint and by and of course it doesn't work now it works was some error on this and here you can see it updates in the UV uh, editor and on uh, the, uh, the object let's say it's a crossroad and in the middle many have met so you take down the opacity on the, or you make it more grey and then you take on the side to show that it's, some people have taken a shortcut <laughs> So this is how you texture paint uh, in Blender. And it's important that you select the image and save. And when you have done that, you go up here and save or save as uh, the pro project. If you don't save the stencil map in the UV uh, then it's lost when you close Blender. Hope this uh, was helpful. Thanks.